Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to the channel today. I've already packaged it because I have recorded this video once, um, but I ran out of storage. So I had to get rid of some stuff to film it again. But as you know, this DH gate, this is the Manchester United home shirt from 24-25 season. And this is the player version, not the fan version, the player version. As you can see, this is the rubberized um, logo and the rubberized Adidas logo, and even the rubberized kind of Adidas stripes down the side. And yes, I went for something a little bit different this time. I went for the Europa League badge, the UEFA Foundation for children on the side, instead of the Premier League, which I normally get. I thought I'd go for something a bit, try something a bit different. With this shirt on the side, obviously we've got the logo on the side for any of you as well that watched my um manchester united 24 25 third black goalkeeper shirt video uh, it did not have this on the side sleeve um i think that might be because at the time of all purchasing the shirt uh they obviously maybe they didn't know that this was going to be the logo i don't know i'm not too sure but still a beautiful black goalkeeper shirt anyway um but this Obviously, Snapdragon, absolutely perfect uh, logo. Everything's spaced out nicely on the side. You've got this on here as well. I don't know if this is right. Heat ready, is that right? I'm not sure. You've got authentic licensed product, which obviously it's not. Uh, on the side, you have the absolutely no issues with stitching or anything down there. That is beautifully done. Uh, if you see any errors with this, let me know. And obviously, with uh, we went for a name, we went Fernandez. Oh, Bruno Fernandez, number eight on the back. Slightly different font because it is the Europa League. It's Europe, so you can they can have different fonts on their shirt. So I've gone for that. Um, remember as well, this is a player version, so I've gone two sizes up. So this is a two XL. Um, if it was a fan version, I'd just go extra large. I'm a large, so I go extra large. But with a player version, I go 2XL. Um, but absolutely beautiful shirt. Not going to lie. I like this shirt. Um, have a look on the inside as well. Got to make sure everything on the inside is fine. The stitching as well on this shirt there is not a single issue with stitching not one i do not see one loose thread at the moment everything is how it should be in my opinion obviously this is the little label that comes with it um don't know if it gives you the yep for anyone that asks as well this is the buyer so if you want this shirt from this buyer and it comes within i want to say a couple of weeks i think it was a couple of weeks for this um but that is the buyer there so you don't have to ask me in the comments now because i've got this slip of paper which actually tells me the buyer so or the seller sorry so if you want um to go check him out you can um which is good and like i said there is not a problem with the shirt at all. It's beautiful. You've got the tags on there to make it as authentic as possible. It says heat ready, so that must be something. It's usually um, aero ready, isn't it? So this must be something with the shirt. But look at that. I think that is a really, really, really nice Manchester United shirt. Fake or not, um, you tell me the difference. Um, beautiful shirt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more uh, DHgate shirts, make sure you hit subscribe as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.